Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be doing my preview slash predictions video for the British Soap Awards for 2015. Okay, cool. And I have the I have all the um, nomination things and all the uh, categories in front of me and that um, for you know for the soap awards. So I'm going to go through the viewer voted ones, which I think is best actress, be best actor, and best soap. Um, and then I'll go through all the panel nominations, which uh, they're more of. Um, I think there's eleven panel nominations or something. Uh, but I'll go through them all. So start off with best actress. I won't read them all out, I'll just read the Hollyoaks ones out, but you have two EastEnders, uh, you have Emma, someone from Emmerdale and someone from Coronation Street, and then from Hollyoaks you have Nikki Sanderson, who of course plays uh, Maxine Miniver. Um, she's got a good chance of winning this, uh, I think. Yeah, I think she's got a good chance of winning this. Um, if you go to Best Actor, um, unfortunately, um, whether it's something wrong with the site or something, I don't know. But uh, there's no Hollyoaks um, actor in the best actor section. But there is two Emmerdale, I think. Uh, no, yeah, there's two EastEnders, two Coronation Street, and one Emmerdale. But I remember back when the uh, the first voting round was um, happening, there was three actors in there. I think there was uh, Ashley Taylor Dawson. Um, Jeremy Sheffield and I think Kieran Richardson, who of course play um, Steve McQueen, uh, Patrick Blake, and Darren Osborne. So maybe the vote was split too much, and then someone else from you know Coronation Street or someone maybe they got as many votes, uh, the same amount of votes as the three that were split. So maybe that was a problem there. Now that was almost a problem last year as well. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It just means we, ha we have more than one actor who's really good. Kind of thing. Um, but I'll just click on anyone here. Um, and then we can look at, of course, Best British, best British Soap. We have Emmerdale, Hollyoaks, Doctors, EastEnders and Coronation Street. Now I've argued that Doctors shouldn't be in it. Because the f main four, the four evening, if you want to call them evening soaps. Emmerdale, Hollyoaks, EastEnders, Coronation Street all take place uh, at 6.30pm, 7pm and after um, till about 9 or something like that and Doctors is on I think at like 1.45 or 2 o'clock or something so I don't know, maybe they, I think they should do a separate kind of um, soap awards, like a daytime soap awards because I think that's where you have uh, things like Home and Away Neighbours and some other things like that, so they should really be included in that because then they'd have more of a chance because that would be in that kind of viewer category, if you guys know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I'll just click on. So those are the th three. There's no one in the best actor, Nikki Sanderson in best actress and best soap. Of course, we have Hollyoaks. I'll go over to the panel nominations. Uh, best newcomer, <coughs> excuse me. Best newcomer, Portia McQueen, Hollyoaks. Last year, I think it was. Um, Charlie Clapham, who plays Freddie Roscoe. Um, so yeah, she, uh, Portia's got a good chance of winning this. She hasn't been in it that long, but of course that's the idea of a newcomer. Um, you have some obviously. I'm not going to read out all of them. I'll just read out the ones I um, can see, and then I'll go for my predictions for the panel nominations. Uh, so yeah, Portia McQueen, and then scene of the year, of course, is The Train Crash. Best comedy performance is David Ziggy Roscoe. Uh, yeah, David Ziggy Roscoe. Sorry, something just came up on my screen. Um, best young performer is uh, you have Perry Lomax, Ruby O'Donnell. Best on screen partnership, um, you have it doesn't say best young on screen partnership, 
but Tom Cunningham and Perry Lomax, who of course Ellis Hollins and Ruby O'Donnell. Um, you guys can just ignore that phone. Um, best dramatic performance. I think this is quite a strong category. I think these are all quite strong categories so far. You have the train crash. Ziggy's quite funny for the comedy. Porsche is right for the um, best newcomer. Best young performance. Perry Lomax. She's done a brilliant job. Ruby Ruby O'Donnell. Best on-screen partnership. Of course, the recent storyline with the pregnancy and everything. Uh, Tom Cunningham and Perry Lomax. Ellis Hollins and Ruby O'Donnell. Best Dramatic Performance, uh, Finn O'Connor, who of course played by Keith Rice, I think that's a very strong um, contender there. Villain of the Year, Patrick Blake, of course a very horrible character, kind of turned around a little bit, not as bad as what he was before. Um, but you know, still still very bad villain, that kind of thing. Um, so I think he's a really strong category. Uh, best storyline, John Paul's Rape or Dill. Very, very strong uh, contender. Best single episode, um, you have Steve's HIV Diagnostics. Di diagnosis, sorry. Um, and then it says the winners will be announced soon, whatever. And it says that the British Soap Awards, if I just go back here a moment, you guys bear with me. Um... I think the ceremony ceremony is on the 16th. It's on a Saturday, I think. So it might be shown on the Sunday. So what I'll do, if it's on the Sunday night, the next Monday morning, I will, of course, do my review of the British Soap Awards. Um, I think we've got some really, really strong categories. Really strong um, nominations, sorry. Uh, the strongest one, I would say, is the on-screen partnership with Tom and Perry, especially because that's a young... Um, on-screen partnership. I think that kind of skews it a little bit in its favour. Um, although Haley and Roy last year absolutely dominated the um, Soap Awards with their, I think it was their cancer storyline with um, Haley, um, and they were an older um, couple. So you know it, it differs with things like that. But um, I think we've got some really really strong categories this year. Of course, last year as well we had Sienna uh, Sienna Blake for best villain. Um, I wouldn't count her as a villain really this year, so, um, yeah, uh, the only, the major content, the major things we have to go up against, I would say, if I go back to the top here, uh, best newcomer, I'm not sure on the characters and that, uh, scene of the year, um, I don't know, if, I don't know scene of the year, best comedy performance, I'm not sure, um, the major things is like the Lucy storyline that was done, um, which is episode 5020 live episode EastEnders, which was, um, that was in the week of the Lucy murder reveal thing. Um, and then best storyline you have who killed Lucy, that's pro that's the, um, that's going to be the kind of dominant thing. Uh, that everyone's kind of got to watch out for, I feel, because it's kind of the same, it got the same, like, attention, kind of, as the Hayley Roy thing, in terms of, like, impact, that kind of thing. Like, I know I can't compare cancer and murder, you know, they're two different things, but um, in terms of, like, the strong categories, the strong uh, nominations, I would say that. But we've got some very strong contenders this year, and I am. Um, I always look forward to support. I love to support. I like the NTAs. The NTAs is kind of like a secondary kind of thing. There's some other stuff in there as well. There's other TV shows mixed in as well. So you've got some other categories to deal with, um, like uh, you have the like reality shows and stuff like that that come up and things. Um, but I, I do watch the NTAs as well. They're fun, and then I of course look forward to the support awards. It's, it's always in May. It's May, I think it said it's May 16th this year. So on May 17th, I'll do my uh, review of the British Show Boards. But um, yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. If you guys like this video, please thumb it up. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. Share it on your Facebook, Twitter, things like that. I've noticed you guys have been sharing my videos a lot recently. So thank you very much. And commenting and sending in Q lots of Q&A questions and stuff like that. So I really do appreciate it. Um, Louise, don't worry. I haven't forgot about your Q&A questions. I'm going to finish the other two questions that Progo sent me on Monday. Because uh, I'm going to do one more video today, which will be another Q&A, uh, which will actually be his one. Sorry, that will be done today 
on Friday, and then Monday I'll do your questions, Louise, um, and then I'll get round to um, Amy Patton's questions as well. And then I've got some um, viewer requested topics in terms of like uh, discussion topics and things. So yeah, I'll get round to them. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you for some more Q and A's and some other stuff. Cheers.